It was a lovely sunny day on John Nugent's sabbatical when he decided he would take a walk back to the school to check on how his classes were going. He was very excited about this trip. Maybe too excited. John's first stop was Scripture and Christian Living, where Todd Jones was teaching. He was a little confused to see all the technology that he strictly banned in his classes. And it's a good thing that we have Jesus and we have his grace, or we would be in danger of the fires of hell. None of you want to go to hell, do you? This is the priority. We have to be absolutely sure that whatever happens in this life, that we say a prayer, walk the Romans road, and be careful not to be in danger of the fires of hell. I don't think any of you want that. In fact, I'm sure that none of you want that. So I am asking you right now to close your eyes and bow your heads, and I want you to raise your hand if you want to accept Jesus. There's a hand. There's a hand. Yes. Okay. Now pray with me. God, I'm a sinner. Please forgive me. Great, you're going to heaven. That's it. That's all it takes. So wait, are you saying the whole point of the gospel is fire insurance? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Because once we all get raptured out of here and the earth is consumed by fire and our immortal spirits go off into the distance and we never have to return to this godforsaken planet again, we will be safe in heaven. All right, now let's close class, as is our custom, as we typically do after every class, by singing, I'll Fly Away. Ready? And with that, the class starts singing a joyous version of I'll Fly Away, one of John's <clears throat> favorite hymns. John fled to the OT class, hoping that Heather Bunce was doing a better job. So you can see that the... The character of Satan is all over the Old Testament. In Genesis 3, we can see it in the serpent. It's in Isaiah and Ezekiel. Um, this theme is, is quite heavy in the Old Testament and carries right through into the New Testament. Wait, teacher, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, right, yes. Um, if everyone will stand, we'll end class by saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag. John could not believe what he heard. He would never have taught his classes this way. In total despair and shock, John stumbled back away from the doorway and fell to the ground. John stumbled upon a seemingly simple game that the students had started playing at GLCC, hiding army men. But to the pacifist John, this was no game.